Well, hello everyone. This is Lawrence. I've been so busy. I haven't been uh, making many videos lately because um, the things that just come my way, it, it keeps me from doing it. But today I got some free time and I want to make a video. I, I want to uh, like create a series and about four weeks ago um, I started this series called uh, the Forgotten About album, okay? And I uh, reviewed the uh, Jefferson Starship release, Earth. And I think it came out in 1978. And when I say Forgotten About album, I these albums weren't flops, okay? They just, you know, were released, were successful, and you know, had to run on the charts, and um, and just kind of went away. Um, and Earth was one of them. Uh, uh, Jefferson Starship. They were the Jefferson Starship. Now um, they had a, a series of really, really uh, um, successful selling albums in, in the um, mid eight seventies. Uh, seventies. I get my time period mixed up here. And, uh, 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 started with Red Octopus, uh, Spitfire, and um, Earth. And they continued to have success to various degrees and came back strong in the 80s to have some, a couple of number one hits as well. Okay. So uh, I did a review on Earth. It, it's, uh, you could see it. It's about four weeks ago, about three or four videos over. And I would like to uh, do another Forgotten About album um, review spotlight. And this is from an artist, uh, an English singer, songwriter, and guitarist uh, uh, from England. Of course, I already said that. <laughs> uh, um, Dave Mason. And Dave Mason is a uh, very well respected uh artist, musician, and um, he had pretty moderate success in the United States, uh, good to moderate. Um, his big radio hit was uh, We Just Disagree. There ain't no good guys, there ain't no bad guys, it's just you and me and we both disagree. So uh, that charted very well as a single. But he has uh, uh, played with... Uh, uh, other artists like Paul McCartney, George Harrison, the Rolling Stones, Eric Clapton, uh, Michael Jackson, uh, David Cosby, uh, Graham Nash, and the list goes on. And he was in traffic. You know, he kind of was in traffic early on and jotted out of there, went back to them. And I'm, I'm not here to give you the entire history of Dave Mason. And he's still around and he still tours and all that. And I, I recently watched a uh, video, a more um, video he d did more uh, recently of him uh, performing his uh, hit, uh, You and Me, We Just Disagree, okay? It was pretty good. Um, so, 1978, before he had the uh, hit with um, We Just Disagree, Dave Mason had put out a number of albums, but he put out a live album. Um, I might got the year wrong. I think it was, uh, yeah, the fall of 1976. Dave Mason, Certified Live, okay? Two albums set. And it was recorded... Um, the remote recording at the uh, Universal Amphitheater in California. And uh, that amphitheater was, I think, was part of the, uh, 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 was on the Disney complex. And it's since been torn down uh, um, and replaced with another feature, okay? Uh, it, you, you should go on online and they got pictures of it. And it's a beautiful theater. Um, looks to hold maybe about 5,000. Okay. 
Uh, this album was recorded absolutely live with no overdubs. Interesting. Okay, so here's the, here's the album again. But I have uh, a number of Dave Mason albums uh, I like to show you as well before I'm going back to the live album. And um, this is just entitled Dave Mason. And all of his albums are really good. Uh, earlier album, uh, Dave Mason, Alone Together. Uh, Dave Mason, Coconut. And uh, Let, Let It Flow. And this was the one with uh, uh, We Just Disagree. This one came out after the live album. Okay, so I actually got this album at a thrift store for like two bucks. Excellent condition. The cover, the the vinyl and all that. And I, I listened to it and I, I was just blown away. Just astonished, okay? Uh, how good his, his uh, uh, three-piece band sounded. Well, four, including him. And... I'm going to go over the players. It's a gatefold right here. And you can see the band taking their, their bow at the end of the performance. Um, it has a drummer Rick J Jagger, J-A-E-G-E-R. And Dave was really good on recognizing them because the inner sleeve that holds the, the albums has a picture of each member of the band. So uh, there, there's Rick right there. And we flip it over. Uh, Mike Fing Fingerton right here. And all of these are really noted players who uh, have played on um, other albums, toured with other artists and all that. Unfortunately, uh, three of them have uh, passed away, okay? Only the bass player uh, is still alive. He hasn't been too active in recent years, but... Um, uh, he he still is listed when I look look him up as uh, still being alive, and he's a real good bass player. His name is Gerald Johnson. Pretty cool, and uh, the guitarist. Actually, this band consists of four members, so not three, and then five you include Dave Mason's Jim Krug Krieger, K R U E J. G E R, right there, okay. And uh, they they're all ex uh, have uh, uh, passed away except for the bass player uh, uh, Gerald. It's just you know amazing how much time has passed. Uh, the musicianship on on this album is fantastic, and this was uh, the time when. This album was huge. Frampton Comes Alive. I mean, it's it just uh, sold and sold and sold. And I think a &M Records, the label it was on, uh, Neil Lofgren was also on that label, and they put out a Neil Lofgren live album um, same year, I think. Yeah, same year. And so they were trying to duplicate uh, the Frampton success with this album. And um, it just, it's a, this is a good album. I enjoyed listening to it, but it's really no Frampton Comes Alive. Let me see when, when, this, year, when this came out. 1977, okay? So it was about a year and a half after Frampton Comes Alive, but... Th this kind of 
is a bit on the scale of Frampton Comes Alive. It's just fantastic album. And uh, side one has um, four songs, Feeling All Right. Who wrote that? I think it was, wasn't it Jackson Brown? Um, I should know this. I, I come very unprepared. Uh, no, Feeling All Right is a Dave Mason song, actually. Uh, Hurley Queen, S Steve Winwood. It's a traffic, uh, the guys in traffic wrote that. Uh, sh Show Me Some Affection, Dave Mason. And of course, uh, Dave Mason recorded uh, All Down the Watchtower, which uh, Hendrix really, really, really uh, made uh, famous, uh, did the um, stunning job, but this is a really good version too. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Side 2 uh, does an excellent job of Take it to the limits. I mean, it doesn't do the high pitch Randy Miser voice, but they they kick back on the um, in, instruments a little bit and focus more on the vocals. And uh, so there's five songs on on side two. Side three is only two songs. Uh, Six minutes and 40 uh, going down slow. And then they really get jammy on um, the next track. Look at what you, look at you, look at me. Uh, 12 minutes, 32 seconds. And um, the fourth side, only you know and I know another Dave Mason song. One of his uh, famous songs, uh, more, more known songs, uh, Bring It On Home which is a Sam Cooke song, and uh, Gimme, Gimme Some Lovin'. Very cool traffic, you know. So he covers some some traffic material there. So if you ever come across this album and it's in playable condition, and you collect vinyl and you can play albums, uh, I get it. It's just a fantastic album. Uh, Dave Mason is still with us. He still tours. And uh, and records. He's still an active artist, and I would love to uh, see him. I never really appreciate him as much back then as I do now. Uh, so this album only like charted like uh, uh, fifty seven on Billboard's album chart at the time when it came out, but um, it it only gets two. It's funny on all music, it gets two review two-star reviews, but they really talked the album up, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, so I was happy to get this at a thrift store, and uh, I, I, I enjoyed it quite much. So uh, I might find a link to one of the songs and list it below Post for posting it. Okay, 13 minutes and 37 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to end this video right now, and I will pick out some more um, what I would call forgotten about albums to uh, review in the coming weeks. And I really want to get this channel going, and I have been. I need to put aside time to at least do one or two videos a week, and I, I should be able to do that. But anyway, uh. That's something I'm going to work on. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate any comments or thumbs up. And I want to wish everyone well. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.